Hey everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Coloring Arts and Crafts. If you hear noise in the background, that's Holly. She's just got this overabundance of energy today due to all the rain and stuff. And I'm trying to do some stuff and she doesn't always like to settle. She might try and get into mischief or something here. <laughs> but yeah, so I may have to go and sort of in between the video go to stop her doing something. We'll just wait and see. But yeah, so I'm going to do another unboxing in preparation here. So I'm going to try and get these done and then just get them uploaded basically so I can then go and, um, and I forgot to delete the past one because I'm going to delete them because I'm short on storage space with my phone and I need to transfer things over with the dog training as well. But I want to um, just try and go through and get some of these done and get them uploaded to YouTube even if I don't share them straight away kind of thing so you may be seeing them a little while after I've shared them I'm not sure so we'll just wait and see but I'm going to start this one here with um Cottage by the Sea this one was recent um it was released quite a while ago but it was recently restocked so I've just gotten this one as well lately I got this one completely free with um, Diamond Art Club points from purchases that I've gotten. So it was um, 98 Australian and I got it for free with just paying the shipping cost of $20. So, so we got our toolkit. We've also got our sticker, Cottage by the Sea. And our box with our stuff in it. Good girls. You're being a good girl, not getting into mischief, ladies. I got both my dogs hovering around, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to teach Holly that when I'm doing stuff, it's not playtime, but she's still learning yet. Because when she was a puppy, I basically would neglect everything to play with her, do things with her, and as a result now she just won't settle and let me do what i want to do so i'm trying to start teaching her that and she's slowly getting the hang of it it's just taking time so yeah it's just putting the rubbish in the boxes so got this toolkit hopefully no more doubles <laughs> but we'll just wait and see i guess so and it is another pink macaron. Slightly darker pink macaron, but it's another double. Ah! I'm having a lot of bad luck with the doubles lately. So we got our little pen that comes in our kit. We got our tweezers since it's a square kit again. Um, that's just a little stopper for in the white tray for our drills oh, I forgot to mention earlier um, they do send some Ziploc bags for the drills our pencil grip our two waxes two heart shaped waxes and the red wax in our little storage container so that they don't dry out when you're using them our washi tape and this is this pretty sort of um rainbow pastel washi tape i don't know if i've got that one before but i've been getting some doubles in washi tape pink macaron this is a darker pink than the other one but <laughs> i think i've already got this one and i think it's our four and seven placer i can't remember for sure in the multi places but I don't remember for sure because I don't use them. So, yeah, that's our little kit. Good girl, Holly. You relax and wait. She's dropped a ball at her at my feet and is waiting for me to kick it or something. <laughs> she has, and I just bumped it. <sighs> so that's our tool kit. I'm just going to put the over on my tray because I keep them out to put in my journal diary. Some people use that sticker for the ends of their boxes. 
I use it for my journal slash legend diary. So next we've got our canvas. And because this one's recently been restocked, it will have the mix of the 13 and 20 facet drills as well. And from what I know, they change the grid, grid patterns each time they add the new drills or whatever to it, just because otherwise they wouldn't fit properly on it. From what I know. So, let's roll this out. So this one is 74 centimetres by 55 centimetres. It is. I'm just going to, it's gotten a little creased in there. Settle down, Holly. Hey, both of you sit down. and get it to lay flatter in that way. So, ah, ah, ah. Who told you to get up? Sit. Wait. I did not say you could get up. Wait. Wait. Good girls now you can move so what we've got on a canvas here we've got our two legends on our upper side and our lower side this piece has uh two ab's from what i can tell two ab's we've got to do what makes you sparkle up the top there down the bottom here we've got our Cottage by the Sea, so our name, our size, 74 by 55 centimetres. Our copyright, Chuck Pinson slash Diamond Art Club, which shows this piece is licensed and the artist is being compensated for it. Holly, leave that. Hey, ah, no! Leave. Don't go bowling everything. Naughty. I'm just going to put Holly in her crate for a minute, possibly. I'll try leaving her out and see how she goes. Good girl. You do with what you've got. you got plenty out. So, shows our thing is copyright, our licensed. Good girl, take it away from the lights. Then down here, we've got our Diamond Art Club license things, a discount code. Over here, we've got our lifetime warranty on this corner. Our drill field, I forgot to mention, show that in the other one, but it's a very clear drill field for Diamond Art Club. Hey, leave that. Take it away. Stop putting this stuff where you shouldn't have it. You're just going to knock stuff while I'm here doing this, and I don't want that. Good girl. <sighs> I'm going to take her out to play in the bit. After I do this, I just wanted to try and get some stuff done a bit at a time, and then I had to eat and do my tablets and stuff before, and then I decided to do another one, and then I'll take the dogs have been in and out, and Holly's just in a complete rambunctious mood at times, so... I will take her out after that. Now she's going to destroy a piece of newspaper again. <laughs> so. Hey. I'm just going to try putting her outside and see if that helps. Lil, you stay. Ellie. Let's go. Move it. 
right there. So you get a little. I let them out, so I should go and bark in incessantly at the school kids and the neighbours and that, so Holly doesn't tend to do that, so. But Holly is just in one of those never ending energy modes, and I want to do some of my stuff, but she just doesn't know how to settle properly. So now I've got to get my mind focused back on where I was discussing things. I think I showed the canvas drill field is very clear and nicely done. From what I know, Diamond Art Club hand renders all of these pieces from the artists once they're approved to become Diamond Art Club pieces. We've also got scalloped edging so that it doesn't fray. Um, Diamond Art Club has a specially licensed can soft felt sort of canvas that self flattens, which I forgot last time too. <laughs> and yeah, um, basically, I'm just trying to do a bit of this between things and I'm trying to teach Holly to settle because I made that mistake when she was a puppy to neglect all my own stuff and just keep doing stuff with her. And now she needs to learn an off switch basically. So, yeah. So the next things we've got here also is our thank you pamphlet from Diamond Art Club's um, creator or CEO, I think it is. This has our what's included in your kit, tips and tricks. Has um, QR codes that VIP Facebook and tutorials, step-by-step -step instructions. We've got some discount codes in there. Um, QR codes to the app. An Android and an iPhone. We've also got here is our sticker label sheet. So we've got Cottage by the Sea, start date, end date if you use that. The diamond shaped square, 74 by 55 centimeters. Our image, a slightly larger image. And here we've got our sticker labels, which are a legend, which I actually use in a journal. And some people use these on their drill tops when they do it, but I tend to use it in my legend because by the time I add the washi tape around the edges to stop hair from getting on the edges with the glue and that, I it covers the drill field, so I don't tend to get... So I use that as my legend instead. So, yeah. And we've also got here is our drills. So you've got here um, your label. So if you store the drills separately to... Separately to the canvas and the drill boxes... Then you, uh, how do I explain it? If you store them separately from the drills to the canvases, you're actually able to, um, oh, I can't say it now. You're able to find what drills go with what image, basically. So we got all these pretty sort of seaside colors. So there's obviously gonna be a lot of browns and that in here just because it's an ocean scene. Also, our new color change to the drill packet is the aubergine rather than that and the underlines underneath the drill numbers. So I guess you're not able to get so confused with which drill number goes where. So our cute image here, it's a Chuck Pinson, obviously. I'm just wondering what sort of hidden details there might be in there. I'm not sure if there's something here, but we've got like a duck, I think, there. Got our lighthouse, our boats, our, just our birds in the distance, a little seaside cottage, some cottages in the back here. Um, I think it's a duck. It's either some sort of seabird. Got some seagulls here, down here, a little path, the beach, the ocean, the waves. I'm not sure what this is down here, but it looks like it could be some planter pots or something down in this corner. Yeah, it's just a very cute seaside sunset image. But it's based on Cottage by the Sea, which is obviously the name of it. 
So I'll just have to keep an eye on Holly outside too. Make sure she doesn't get into anything. I will. So. so I'll show you the drills. And then after I show you the drills, I'll try and find where the ABs are to show you where the ABs are in this image. So there's a look at our drills. Obviously, this isn't the largest size landscape you can get, but it's a nice little size. And I've actually been surprised. I used to be so reluctant to get these sort of smaller size landscapes and that, but I've actually discovered Diamond Art Club is actually really good with the rendering on these ones, and they are, are actually reliable with choosing the sizes and still having good details and all of that. So I'm really happy with that now and I'm more liable to buy a smaller image now. I still love the larger images like what you'll see with the Abraham Hunter um, Woodland Church in the background here of Diamond Art Clubs. I still love the larger size ones with all the extra details but these ones are still amazing as I've learned over time. And taking a chance on a few of the smaller ones, they actually aren't as bad as I thought kind of thing. Like they're actually a lot better quality than I thought, which is awesome. And I'll just put that sticker out of the way before I lose it. So now we've got our drills. So we're going to start here with 823, 815. And got our first AB, which is 131, which is this orangish yellow. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And these are going to be a mix of 13 facets and 20 facets right now because they're still rolling over into the 20 facets. So not all kits are completely 20 facets at this point. The 131 or Aurora Borealis stands for um, like the Northern Lights or basically like reflective lights in multi multiple ugh, I can't think how to explain it multiple different colors I'm just thinking about what Holly's doing and that so I'm getting distracted sorry um multiple different lights it reflects multiple different colors and it will show and reflect based on the colors that have been placed around it as well so aurora borealis just means multiple lights We've got 550, 640, 718, that's a pretty pink, 989, 301, 915, 368, 3021, and that colour... It doesn't look accurate. It looks like a brighter green, but it's actually more of a yellowy olive off camera. 3830, 129. This is our second and final AB. So we got two sort of yellows, like a buttercup yellow and an orange yellow. 814, 699 with a escapee there in the drills. 841. 38.14, So there's going to be a lot of browns in this one. Not so many of the greens on that, it seems. It seems to be more of sort of brownie tones in this one. So we've got um, 33.48. 644, 3861, 562, 435, 3855, 839, 732, 677. I don't think I've seen that color before. 3860, we've got two bags of that. 898, we've got two bags. 3864. So a lot of the greens, there's a bit of greens in the trees in that, but most of our greens are going to be in this, purely bluey greens are going to be in this ocean. There's a bit of greens in our trees and a little bit of greens in our foreground, 
but it seems to be the majority of sort of different brown sort of tones. It does. So we're on our last strand and this is mostly brown tones too, browns and oranges and sort of apricot sort of things. So we got 356, it's a pretty sort of terracotta brown. 779, we got two, three bags of that. 434, we got one, two, two bags of that. Got 402, we got two bags of that. 934, we got 3856, and we got two bags. 3778, 3371, we got one, two, three bags of that. We got 937, 938, and we got two bags of, three bags of that. And then 9.35. So there's no 3.10 in this one at all. There isn't. Now, as for our ABs, so we've got number one, which is 129. So we'll just have a quick look for these. I'm expecting these are probably going to be mostly in the sky. Actually, we've got some 120, um, 129. We've got some number one down here and a bit of a stone path. Highlighting a bit of this stone path. A little bit in the water. So not a lot. And then like I thought, yeah, it's mostly in the sky here. Some in the sky. And I don't think it was a huge bag, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, it wasn't a huge bag. And there's one one in the house there. And some ones in the front porch veranda areas here, from what I can tell. And as for number two, which is our 131, so we got some down in these flowers here. Some here in these flowers, a little bit here in the house. In the flowers, bit in the flowers here, bit in the flowers there. And we'll just see if there's any over this side a little bit. Now, bird beaks here, over here. A little bit in the bird beak there, as well as a bit there under the house. And that's about it for our number twos, which I wasn't expecting a lot because it wasn't a huge bag. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing anyway. And yeah, I will see you later. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing this Chuck Pinson Cottage by the Sea. It's beautiful. I really love it. I'm hoping my favorite Diamond Art Club authors are Chuck Pinson, Peggy Collins, Dominic Davidson, and oh, what's the other one? Um, Ugh. Abraham Hunter <laughs> but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this anyway and I will see you later bye I thought I hadn't started it recording for a minute there bye <laughs>